One of the more popular features of the Dreammaster light mattress elevator is the optional side rails that can come up and down with the backrest. They are very specifically left, is this one, and right-handed, which is from the client's perspective, lying on the bed on their back. I'm going to pop the left one out of the way, and I'm going to work with the right-hand one. They can be fitted at the initial Dreammaster installation, or they can be fitted later on. All you do is take the hand wheels off of the thread both sides, and the only part you really have to think about is these spacers. I've got a slatted bed here. If I left those spacers in place and put the rods through the holes in the trombone, what's going to happen is the rail will come down and it'll hit the wooden upstand at the side of the bed. So for a divan bed, you leave those two spacers in place and it'll keep the rail on the outside of the base and of the mattress. But for a slatted bed, you need to remove those two spacers first, then insert the rail through the trombone, replace the spacers, and then secure in place with the hand wheels. Occasionally I get asked whether uh, uh, the side rail can be moved up or down the bed. Unfortunately they have to be in a fixed position and they are particularly left and right hand sided because they require the cutaway slope to be at the front of the rail. As the backrest of the elevator goes up to 85 degrees, if a client was sat with their leg out the side of the bed and the rail was the other way around, with the up vertical part here, then this may compromise the top of their thigh. So that's why the rail has to be in a fixed position and that's why it's that particular shape. It might be worth noting that the thicker a client's mattress, the less rail they are likely to see.